the channel database sql in today's video uh, i will try and cover uh, some of the questions related to employee salaries and employee manager uh, uh, relationship uh, and things like that so we'll cover uh, different concepts here as well so uh, before i start right i just wanted to request you guys to please subscribe to my channel like my videos uh, i have been putting a lot of effort to uh, you know uh, get this data uh, like data prepared table prepared so and I, I, I put a lot of effort in you know coming out with this query so I just request you guys to please uh, subscribe to my channel and and like my videos uh, so let's get started uh, so today uh, so two so two two tables we are going to deal with today right so it's first is a uh, employee table typical employee table where employee ID is there employee name is there city is there date of birth pin code and salary is there uh, the second table is is what basically the it shows the relationship between the employee and manager right for each of the employees like uh, you know who is the manager and things like that so uh, these are the main two tables we are working with uh, both can be joined using the employee id as a common key so uh, there are three questions we'll cover the first question is display employee id and employee names of for those employees who are also managers right so we just need to uh, display those employees who are also managers so for example uh, if you see here the who are the managers employee 4 5 7 8 and 9 and 10 right so if you see employee 1 2 and 3 are basically 1 2 3 and 6 are not managers right so those should not come up uh, so uh, that's what we need to write the sql on so what we'll do is probably uh, we'll join both the tables right we need to get the employee name and employee id right so we'll join both the two tables and then we'll say where employee employee id of the employee table is equals to manager id right because if you see this map hierarchy table then we need to only bring those employees who are managers right so that's why we need to match the employee id of the employee table with a manager ID, uh, 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 employee ID of the of this table, right? So that's how you will see. So what it will do, it will do a join of manager employee ID to the employee ID of the employee table, right? So that way you look at only managers. So let's run this SQL. So if you run this SQL, uh, we'll get, uh, you know, only those employees who are managers, right? So as you see, one, two, three has not come up here. Uh, four five even six is not there because the six employee one two and six are, are not managers right uh, all other people are are basically managers okay so that's the first question second question is show top three highest earning employees right so for, so if you see if you uh, look at the employee table you have the earnings right salary so top three highest earning employees is what they are looking for so if you see 340,000 is the first one, right? Second salary is 300,000 and third salary is 280,000, right? So these three should come up. Now, uh, top three highest earning employees, right? So these are these are the employees we should we should we should show. So here let's just select employee ID, salary, and and the rank, right? So rank uh, rank cell is I, I'll get to that function here. We'll have to use the dense rank function. So uh, what we are doing is we are going to write another sub query, right? So because we need to come out with this rank function, correct? So what happens is when we do the employee ID, salary and dense rank. So what we are trying to do is we are trying to uh, in this query, what we're trying to do is we, we are trying to assign a rank to the highest uh, 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 salary, right? Highest salary employee. Okay. So if you see here, if you run this query here, see what happens is it is 300,000 okay 300,000 and why we are using dense rank right I mean uh, we'll just get to that because we have to use dense rank here so if you see 340,000 and and 300,000 there are two employees making that money right so that's why we have to use dense rank and then third is 280,000 so our our answer should be 4 to 10 correct so let's just when you run this query it's showing this four employees okay which is correct answer so now what we need to why we need to use rank because if you see let's just concentrate on this is the most important part of the query okay the other things are pretty simple pull but this is the this is the uh, the most important part of the query okay so that's why let's just concentrate on that 
so if you see here what we are doing is select employee id select salary dense rank and i'll get back to the two 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 uh, two functions right dense rank and rank right both uh, there's a difference between both of them and we'll get back to that so if you see dense rank okay and then over over order by over so over partition by over order by so just remember that we can do over partition by and we can skip the partition by also so we need to skip the partition by here because if you what are you going to partition by right you if you are partitioning by employee then it will not work right i mean because it will just partition by each of employee okay so we need to over order by salary descending right so they are saying top 3 right so that since you are doing top 3 highest earning we need to do salary descending right because if we don't do descending then what it will do is it will start ranking based on the 110 150 like that right we want it from the top that's why we are saying salary de descending as rank cell right and then we are saying that just and we are making this table as table b and then we, what we are doing is where a is a employee id is equal to b employee id and then rank one two three they said top three right if they said top four we just need to do four here okay and then order by cell right so if you if you do this here you will get top four okay one two three four right so that's the that's that's the answer but i i i want to highlight here let's just take this query okay and then let's just uh, run a different uh what do you say dance rank rank okay so let's say here we say dance rank okay then we will say so what we want to do is basically we want to compare uh, the dance rank rank okay and then ronam also so ronam also is the uh, is another function okay that can be used in C so here you could have used, used ronam also either three of one of the three you have to use but the reason why we need to use dance rank is okay okay so let's do one thing let's just run this query okay okay so if row num is pretty straightforward okay so what it is doing is based on the descending order of the salary it's just assigning one two three four five six okay so here can you find top three so if you were to say top three you say one two three is that a correct answer no because three hundred thousand two people are making right so uh, so you you need to consider top three but so you can't just say these are the top three right because the salary you have to see top three salaries okay not top three employees top three salaries 340 300 and 280 right all three should come so this that's why ronam will not work if if they had distinct salaries yeah then ronam will work okay but you don't know right i mean the data can be stored you you i mean it will be very common scenario right where two employees are making the same amount of money it's very common so that's why uh, I, i'm just trying to show the difference but here you can't use ronam now look at the rank okay there is a difference between rank and rank uh, dense rank and the reason why we use dense rank right if you see rank what it does is it give the rank one next time when you have the same salary it is giving to second rank to two that is correct okay but then for next one if you see it is skipping the rank it is skipping the rank right it is saying because you finding two rows of same number so it is skipping the rank three it is going four so if you see one two three here what will happen again the, you will run into issue you will not get the fourth guy i mean because two people are making the same money right so you will not be able to you know show you will not be able to get this accurate answer in dense rank what happens is uh, you have employee four so one and then you have second uh, uh, assigned and then when it is going to next it is not skipping the rank even though uh, you have uh, two rows with the same salary two rows matching next time it is going to give not going to skip the rank so that's what we want right we want top three uh, highest salary right i mean top three highest making salary employees right so the, here there are two that's why you see one two three you are basically getting a correct answer right when you're using a dense rank when they said four you can just put four and this will take four so dense rank will be accurate in this case because it's not going to skip the rank right so that's the difference between uh, between the dense rank and the uh, rank and the row num very important this uh, is basically they'll try and trick you with this and uh, it's it's good to have your concept very uh, in in your mind very well that 
I need to use dense rank. Uh, when I need to use dense rank, when I need to use rank, when I need to use to, I need to use the row num. Okay. In this kind of scenarios, right? Obviously, the safest option is dense rank. You should use the dense rank because it's not going to skip the rank, right? Versus rank where it 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 is going to skip the rank. Okay. So just keep that in mind. Okay. Uh, so here we got the answer, right? So top three highest running is four, five, eight, and ten. Okay. All right. So that's the correct answer. So now the next uh, question is display those employees who are reporting to same manager. Okay. So what does that mean? That means that you have to report those employees only who are reporting the same manager. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So here, if you see employee one is reporting to four, is anybody reporting to employee four? Yeah, you have employee six. Employee two is reporting to five. Three is also reporting to five. So yeah, this is also a candidate for that. But four is reporting to seven. Five is reporting to eight. So seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, there are not more than one employee uh, reporting to the same manager, right? As only one employee, one manager. Okay, but here they are asking that display those employees who are reporting to the same manager. Okay, so our answer should be four, four, right? And five, five should be the manager ID, right? So if we see this, so we need to just, uh, so in this case, right, you have the employee and you have manager in the same table stored, right? So in this case, you'll have to use a self join. Okay. So if you, if you're doing here, okay, what I'm saying is I'm just, I just created a table alias. I created the first table and named it as employee. I took the same table and named it as manager. Correct. So you just need to just do a self join. This is called self join. When you use the two table twice, you just call self join. But here, if you see what I am doing is employee dot manager employee ID, right, is equal to manager dot manager employee ID, right? We need to match the manager ID of both, right? Then only you will get this combination. And employee ID is not equal to manager dot employee ID, okay? So because the employee ID should not match, right? Because if you remove this, so let's just run this query. So if you run this query, you are getting the answer, right? One, six, what are reporting to four? Two, three, reporting to five. Now, if you don't put this option, right, what it is, it will do is it will bring all the rows, right, because it's going to. Okay, this it's allowed, not allowing because of end. So, if you see this, it's bringing all the employees seven, eight, right, nine, ten. Because here, what is happening is you have you are saying that manager employee ID and manager employee ID just match correct that's what you know that's what we are doing so we are just matching those two IDs and then uh, uh, manager or manager it is just going to match a like to like and bring all the rows correct so that's not the correct answer right because we need to also make sure that no two employees are right then only you'll get two different employees right so no two employees both employee ID are not matching, right? That's why you need to have this. You need to have this condition where you will say and employee dot employee ID is not matching with the manager dot employee ID, right? So between two tables, when the employee ID is not matching, when both are distinct, then only display the rows. Okay. So if you are going to do that, then you will get the correct answer. Okay. So here the concept of self join is used, right? So Whenever, uh, you know, they are saying employees uh, uh, were reporting to the same manager and you see that in the same table, then just kind of sh should click in your uh, brain that, you know, it's basically going to be a self join because both the columns are on the same column and they are trying to, they are trying, uh, trying to give, give you, get you the data, which is coming from the same table, right? So for those employees who are reporting to the, to the same managers. So that's why you need to just create table alias. Uh, create the table user tables two times and then just give a different name and do a self join uh, based on the manager employee ID and then uh, just say that employee ideas are not matching right so because you need two distinct employees who are reporting to the same manager that's why you need to use this condition okay uh, so this also is giving uh, this query is giving the correct answer okay uh, so uh, overall if you see right what we have covered is we have covered uh, uh, the basically this uh, uh, rank, dense rank, and row num function. 
right i mean difference between between those we used the dynamics rank to get to the correct data right and uh, uh, also we used the self join con concept here uh, uh, you know to get the data we want right so those are the two kind of uh, main concepts cover covered in this in this particular uh, video so uh, i i request you guys to please subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you have been enjoying uh, the videos i am making i have made a uh, lot of the other videos as well so this is the part 7 of the series of amazon sql interview questions and i'm going to add that to the playlist as well uh, of amazon sql interview questions so just if you want to go through all the videos then just go through uh, j just just uh, you know play the playlist and you will be able to see each and every video uh, okay uh, So all right then uh, uh talk to you later in the in the, in the next video thank you